Greetings, everybody. This is the Mystery School of Light with your teacher, Fire Fairy Light or Tanner Light. And today's lesson is Aqua Therapy, the magic of water. How you can use water to release old beliefs that no longer serve you and to bring healing and self-awareness into your life. As you can see, I have my water right there sitting on um, achieving oneness with the higher soul meditation for soul realization by Master Chilla Kaksui and um, I like to put my bottles of water on this book because it has um, a picture of the blue pearl which has to do with the pineal gland and the blue pearl is not only the pineal gland but it is the spiritual um, organ I should say of the higher self or you know linked to the higher self you know the soul's mind the you know what makes us us and it has um you know our divine purposes within the blue pearl and so I like to put you know my water on this on this book because of the cover because um it keeps my mind you know clear and it keeps me um pretty balanced and on top of everything so for um it was only this year I discovered aqua therapy or you know the magical secrets of water how water can um store intent and vibration and how water is really medicine not only does it um keep the body hydrated and um nurture you know ourselves but water is the food for the soul like water is very 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 precious and water can be used in magic and ceremonies or you know throughout you know everyday life to enhance your intuition it can be used to enhance your mood it can put you in a good mood water is awesome in fact if you're freaking out just drink water like crazy just keep on drinking water until you feel better and eventually you will feel better um i love aqua therapy i swear i get high on water and whatever high means so, um, what I do with water is, you know, I tell water how much I love it, and then I feel love inside myself, and, you know, before I drink water, I think about what I want water to do for me, what I want this glass of water to do for me. I use water to fight fear, I use water to, um, expel, um, etheric parasites out of my body, and you you can get as creative as possible with water and magic I mean it's no joke you may think I'm crazy probably never heard of this before but um I think it was last year or this year I can't really remember but um I had discovered this community called morning inspiration you know with boost and it had to do with Riven Valley love and I had hopped on the bandwagon for their um, song of the day challenge and I thought it was very strange but we were instructed to um, place water on you know a gospel well now we're doing gospels but back then it was a song it was a song of the day challenge and we were instructed to put water on a psalm a day and to let the water sit on the psalm and for the water to absorb the psalm and I thought like oh this is strange but I'm gonna give it a try the strangest things were happening inside my mind every night I drink that water I mean very very strange I would have very strange dreams I would travel to other dimensions I would have conversation with beings, I would have meetings with beings that were supposed to be my caretakers, 
you know, my etheric parents, the ones who watch over me and provide for me, like, I would have flat out conversations with them, and it was, it was mind-blowing, and at first I thought I was going nuts, but I had, you know, I researched it, about how water can absorb vibration, and it's very, very real. In fact, you should get two jars of water or two containers of water and test it out for yourself. Tell one that you love it, tell the other one that you hate it. And you will see that, you know, it will start, one will start to look really clear and the other one's going to look really dirty. So it's a very real thing. There's magic in water. Water is magical. There's life force in water. And water is part of the air. There's magic in the air. There's magic everywhere. I love water. But like I said, I'm high on water right now because ever since, you know, the first video for the Mystery School of Life, I was like, I really hope I don't screw this up. I absolutely hope I don't. So I've just been placing water on, you know, the meditation, um, for soul realization, just to keep myself, you know, on the right path, because I do not want to mess this up, even though, um, my guides are like, no, we, you, there's no way you can mess this up, we won't let you, nothing's gonna happen, just share the message and, you know, the lesson for the day, so... The lesson and message for the day is that um, the earth was given to us. The earth belongs to everyone. You know, this is our home. And um, we shouldn't even be paying rent, be paying for utility. We should not be paying to live. The earth was given to us. The earth can provide for us. You know, the earth can take care of us. You no, know, we're dependent on um, an organization, a government, that we rely on for food and, you know, water and all of that. And before there was a government, and a government like the one we have now, everybody was free. You know, the earth gave everybody everything that they needed. In fact, the earth gave us better medicine than what we have now. The medicine that we have now is not medicine, it's poison. Excuse my French, but it's poison. This is medicine, water, medicine, good for the soul. And all I did was just tell it that I love it and that I love myself and I want my most highest benefit and then I drink it. And you can so tell that I was having a miniature anxiety attack. And look at that. A nipped in the butt. Like nothing. So, you can use water to let go of fear. You can use water to heal yourself of disease. You can use water, you know, to enhance all aspects of your life. And there's plenty of it. Even though here in California, they're telling us, oh, we're in a drought. Yeah, we're in a drought because, you know, corporations like to keep on pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping water, you know, and then they want to monetize it. That's why we're in a drought. Let me expose it. All right. We're in a drought because of corporations. Thank you so much, Nestle. You think that, you know, nobody has a right to water, even though we need water to live. Help Nestle. Even though I probably drink Nestle and I'm probably a hypocrite. But at least I can admit that I can be hypocritical. But what matters is that I try. And so should you. And you should try out the whole water magic. Aqua therapy is no joke. Aqua therapy will get you going on a roll. You'll be flapping your wings. You see my wings behind my head? Yes. My mind is in the clouds. Those aren't demon wings, those are dragon wings. Creative force. Excuse me, I'm burnt. Ew. So, 
I would also like to share that I am working on meditation music. Music that is, um, I don't know, it's beautiful. I personally think I'm a good musician. And now that I'm starting to make music that is meant to heal you and meant to expand your consciousness, it is so much better. I made my own meditation called the Shine Meditation. And the mantra is Shine, Shine in Peace. Home. And I've been saying that, you know, since yesterday and a couple days ago. And I've just been thinking, you know, you just gotta shine. And we're all light. We're all made out of light. And, you know, we don't shine enough. And that's why there's so much darkness in the world. We must shine. Just keep on shining. But don't be forceful with your shine. Shine in peace. That's how you do it. You shine in peace. God and the angels are trying to tell you that you are innocent and that you can rely on them at all times. We're all innocent and it takes a lot of courage to be a force of peace and to be gentle. It takes courage. It's very, it's very, very hard. It's very easy to be forceful with something, but it takes courage to hold back. And to act with kindness. And water is very gentle and kind. And that's what I'm trying to get at. Again with the whole aqua therapy. You're made out of water. <laughs> By nature you are peace. You are gentle. You are innocent. And that is the lesson for today. So go out and shine in peace.